Hey guys, what's up Capricorn? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what's yours, leave the rest behind. This does resonate with you today. Please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. All right, Capricorn, what's coming up? All right. Everything always looks so great, and then there's that one card that flies out. All right, Capricorn, are you? All right, well, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right, see, somebody is. What are we doing with the Cancer? I don't know. I'm going to take them just because the way they automatically just flopped out like that, but we're ending with the Five of Swords not loving it so maybe it's determination or hard head in it so we'll see um seven numbers are written down so seven so definitely stick to like your faith your wisdom reflect on your past because you have been through some type of a struggle here uh something has put you through the ringer the nine of uh wands here is the wounded warrior you've been through some type of upheaval some type of battle with a specific situation so make sure you do reflect on the past because um, sometimes we need to remind ourselves that with the five of swords, we can be kind of hard headed, um, but it can also have other meanings. So show me this nine of wands. What's been so difficult? Very defensive towards the situation, but that's because it's put you through a lot. What is this nine of wands for Capricorn, please? The Queen of Wands. So it could have been an Aries Leo Sag. I like this how that person is feeling towards you. Um, you stood your ground through this battle. Regardless of how how you know trying it was. The Queen of Wands, you didn't back down. You knew your work, you kept moving. Even when it felt like you couldn't. Something could have just like really happened out of the blue here, kind of unexpected, and things just kind of came to a crossroads. It's almost like somebody, yeah, you just put the mask over your eyes and somebody became oblivious. Another situation that I'm picking up on right now is that somebody is trying to make a decision between two people. And we'll see how this goes, but just with the other energy of the cards, um, you know, so pick your storyline there. Uh, you know, both may apply. Because it's, it's almost like somebody, is they're trying to either make a decision or, you know, you haven't gave up, but you became kind of closed off to the situation. You no longer know how to proceed. You definitely, like, are guarded. You could have blocked this person. Show me this three of pentacles for the obstacle for Capricorn for the immediate future. Show me this three of pentacles for the obstacle. What is in their way? The knight of pentacles. So you are moving forward slowly. Yeah, okay. So you're on your way to your wish fulfillment here. The Three of Pentacles can talk about, um, could be collaborating on a work project. All right, so this cycle is wrapping up here. You're fighting or someone's fighting hard. It's also about planning, working together for the, you know, planning for the future, that type of thing. Um, yeah, for something stable, you're really fighting hard. This cycle is trying to wrap up, though. The tens are about completions. We have the Nine of Wands, now the Ten of Wands. So something has to change, right? Something has to give. Somebody is fighting hard trying to like put this relationship together or this marriage. 
It could be, you know, money or around a work situation. Somebody could just be working a lot as well. Um, but it's a slow moving. You do have a night coming towards you. Slowest moving night in the deck. Um, but your wish fulfillment is here. So somebody is fighting for some type of change, something long term uh, committed. Or it could be, you know, some type of monetary situation as well that, like, got you really wore down here. Kind of just tired and wore out. All right, show me a card for this outcome for Capricorn. Show me a shit. Definitely could be dealing with the Cancer. The Two of Cups. So, okay. I don't like it. It's general reading. It's your world. I'm just squirrel living in it. You may reject this offer. Um, you have the five of swords and the three of swords. It's it's almost like, okay, remember when I was talking about that reflection? For one, remember what you've been through in your past and um you know, kind of reflect on that because you're moving or somebody is trying to move forward towards something. I don't know if it's really happening here. Um, sometimes we can be stubborn and kind of forget how things were in the past because there is mutual love. So, you know, love can be blinding, but we also have the three of swords, which is about heartache, separation, distance. With that five of swords, um, it's almost like somebody wanting to win at all costs like even if it means breaking someone's heart i don't think you're accepting this offer or um actually i don't see a whole lot of offers being offered if that makes sense i don't see a whole lot of movement i feel like somebody's kind of being stubborn kind of knowing what they're doing here and i mean it is causing some heartbreak and there is mutual love it could be a cancer but definitely reflect because things are there's a need here for things to get balanced for things to get back on track i don't feel like they're balanced at all so it is moving forward slowly but it's a struggle here you may be struggling to like um you know feeling like you're you're struggling to be happy or maybe financially or something like that you're carrying a lot of weight by yourself there's no movement here. The wheel is here, so it could be done with the Virgo as well. But it's like somebody is it's with the Eight of Cups, we walk away. We turn our back and we go into this hermit mode. We go towards like these hills back here, these mountains. And we go within and do some soul searching. So there is some, I don't know, I think somebody's kind of being a little stubborn, a little hard-headed definitely um the four of cups you could just be like not interested or you know maybe rejecting an offer but things things just aren't moving there's like some definite hard-headedness i feel like you're angry behind this and with the queen of swords over here you definitely could be harboring some resentment but you're also at the same time she she protects her heart she doesn't let her guards down and that could be because of anger so in turn, somebody ends up turning around and walking away and trying to figure shit out, trying to figure out how to go forward. There is mutual love here. So um, it's like someone wants something new, wants to move forward, the ace and the two of wands, but this anxiety, this fear is kind of holding it back. And the queen of swords is a logical thinker. So, you know, if this is somebody, you know, brand new or is not giving you a reason not to trust them, then it could be the past, like pain from the past. And kind of some hard-headedness or anger from the past holding it back. Because you are on your way to wish fulfillment. Um, but something is holding it back. Yeah, you're taking your time. You're being patient. But with that causes anxiety. So um, some worry on someone's side. So it definitely could be some, you know, hard-headed stubbornness. Especially from this Queen of Swords. Um aspect and that's kind of bring, brung, brought things to a place of indecision here or to like a crossroads so no movement um make sure you're looking at things from all perspectives if this was somebody who you know cheated on you in the past or was a third party situation then you know, that's probably why you're stressing and it's 
it's a possibility with the five of swords and the three of swords. You know, somebody could have their back turned or you just don't trust it. Um, but if this person hasn't given you a reason not to trust them, it's kind of, it's moving forward slowly, but don't let the past deter you. Like heartbreaks from the past set you back. Because things are trying to get on track and they will balance out. Once you see things from all perspectives, this anxiety kind of lifts when you go within and find this way. Because the wheel is here, so it's just waiting for you. And it will happen. Use your intuition because you're being guided towards something stable, towards something solid. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helps. I hope this resonated. So please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. See, yeah, this is your energy. There's a new cycle, a balanced one, trying to begin here for you. You could have been dealing with a married man. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's a karmically balanced cycle, you know, that will begin for you. It's just the night of, it's taken a while. All right, Cap. See you next time.